welcome. This is a bit unusual. I'm here again for the live for the second time in one day. I don't think I've done that before, but I had to because although I had planned to do my customer rewards card kit uh, video today, and that was supposed to be from last week when I wasn't well and I delayed it already, I got my pre-order of new annual catalog products in the post yesterday evening. So it was you know, right at the end of the day yesterday, I got my pre-order box, which is fantastic because I did not think it was going to arrive before Easter and now I have it to play with over Easter and I have it to look through. So I thought I would share my unboxing version. So it's not quite an unboxing because I've gone in and I've opened up the packet so that you can see the different things, but it's showing you what I've got in that box. And I thought you'd want to see uh, as soon as I got it, just like I did when I had to open it and find it yesterday. So it was really exciting to get. And so I'm going to share with you now. So the new catalog is this one here. Uh, so nice and bright and fun. Uh, and it is full of brand new products, including new colors. So if you haven't heard already, there's a big color refresh. And so all the color families are changing and all those core colors um, are being moved around and we've got new ones coming. We've got returning uh, in colors that we've had in the past are coming in to be new core colors. And we've also got a brand new range of in colors uh, to go in this catalog as well. So I'm going to take you down. I'm going to start, start with the colors first to show you those. So first of all, I'll move that catalog out, is the in colors. So the in colors come, uh, they last for two years at a time. So they come in sets of five and we have them for two years. So this is our 2023, 2025 set of colors. So we'll have them for two years and they are copper clay, boho blue, pebble par, wild wheat, and moody mauve. Now I already have a set of favorites. These three here, I think work brilliantly together and I'm really going to love adding those in with some of our other core colors as well. These ones I need to be sold on a little bit. I'm sure I will be and in small doses with other colors I'll be happy with. As a group they look wonderful. Earthy, earthy colors. This color is really not my taste and I have kind of nicknamed it Nasty Nappy but it's actually called Wild Wheat and I know some people love that kind of color. So it's there and we need it in our color range and that's fantastic but I'm going to work with these three definitely uh, and you'll see plenty of those moving forward. Now, in addition to our in colors, we have four new core colors that are going to be in different color families and they are pecan pie, lemon lolly, bubble bar, and azure afternoon. So these aren't designed to go together at all and they don't particularly. Uh, they are slotting into different color families. So this one here is going to be part of our new brights. These two are both part of our new um, subtles and this one is one of our new neutrals. So I know a couple of people have wondered what's the difference between pecan pie and copper clay in the in colors. So I'm just going to show you that comparison so you can see side by side what they're like. So this one is uh, uh, this one's a much redder brown and then the pecan pie is um, a, a softer brown and it's kind of this is our new soft suede. Soft suede is retiring and so we have that one there instead and it's a color I like a lot more than soft suede so uh, that's going to be a nice addition in there. So the pink is one that's been a bit of there's been a bit of chatter about. This pink is a, is a true pink it's a it's a pale pink and it's a baby pink so that's it's called bubble bath and the other pinks we've had have been kind of yellowy pinks peachy pinks uh, and so it's really nice it's been quite some time since we've had a true pink pink uh, in the pale versions so that's a really nice addition to have and then the, this lemon lolly is a much brighter subtle yellow than we've had before or had for a very long time so I'm going to come back again uh, and do another video in a little while when I've had a chance to play with these colors and to work out some color combinations and also bring in some of those retiring in colors that have come back and have a proper play with those. But I wanted to show you, it's one of the first things I looked at when I got my box, was to have a look at these new colors. So that's those. And I've also got them in several products. I've got them in the ink pads as well. So I've got my new ink pads in my range of colors so these are my new core colors uh, and th those are in the ink pads and then i have my set of colors in the in colors as ink pads as well and i wanted to show you this this is my boho blue and this is how it arrived 
And if this happens sometimes, it's part of the manufacturing process. If it's over inked or if there's too much humidity, sometimes it can leak out of the ink pads. So just a reminder, when you get these, uh, you need to store them. So in transit, they'll be all over the place, but to store them, you store them flat uh, and list so that when you when they're stacked on the shelf, you see this edge of them. So if you get one that's like this, don't open the plastic. Chances are, if it has leaked at all, the plastic covering will be con um, containing all of that loose ink. So don't open it because you're gonna get ink everywhere. And actually just contact me or your demonstrator or whoever you got it from uh, straight away and Stamping Up will replace it because it's not meant to arrive like this and you're not meant to be in a mess. So it will get replaced. So just, just to give you that heads up that that's what you can do. It happens ever so rarely, but it does happen. Now I've also got a couple of ink pads in those returning colors. These are three of the colors that I had in the old style ink pads. So Lemon Lime Twist, Berry Burst and Lost Lagoon I had in the older, older style of ink pads. So I've got brand new ones in the new color, in the new style. Uh, so they're ready to go. There's also in these colors, there is a set of gems. So these are the new ink colors uh, and these are called the ink color dots. <laughs> so they're adhesive backed um, dots and they're in those core, uh, sorry, the ink color uh, combinations. And then I have the markers. So these are my new in color markers. And one of the reasons I'm showing these to you is that the markers have changed. So these aren't the blends. These are the markers, the stamp and write markers that have the same water-based ink that's in the ink pads. And we've had these for a while. And this is how they work. Oh, they're the same. I had thought they were, oh no, they're not. They're different. It's the length of, the pen is the same length. Oh, I'll go back. So I'd heard all about this, but I hadn't actually investigated it. So you can see here that the, the lids are slightly different and the barrel is slightly different. And that's because they have um, reconfigured them. So all of these, the ones in this older style have been retired, even the colors that are continuing through. Uh, so they're part of the last chance list at the moment. And the reason for it is they're all going to be now, they're going to be available in all the new core colors. And these are the in colors and they're going to be slightly different. So the brush tip, you can't actually see a difference on it was the ever so slight difference in that brush tip, but I'm told that they color much more, the color flows much better. So actually I'm just going to have a little play and see. Oh yeah, that is nice. It does flow really nicely. And so it's a bit more like the blends in the way that that runs on there. But the big change is the other end. So the other end in the old style was this kind of uh, pen tip that we had. And now, it is a bullet tip and yes it does it, that works much nicer more it's a much nicer look it's a much nicer feel uh, to have that there so there is a big difference in those so if you're wondering why all the markers are retiring that's why they're changing configuration to be in these ones here uh, and obviously with all the color groupings changing they needed to change those as well so it was a good time to do it so speaking of markers I've also got all those brand new colors in the Stampin' Blends alcohol markers. So I haven't got any of these out. These are the same alcohol markers that we've had for a while. Oh, and there's my black, one of the, the new Stampin' Right markers. But I've picked up all of those new colors. Excuse me. <coughs> uh, oh, I look, it looks, there's two lots of blues. Are they from blues? Ah, it's a blueberry bushel. I didn't have blueberry bushel before. That's a returning color. And this one is the Azure Afternoon. So when you go dark and light, you can see uh, there's some similarities, but there's also differences. So there's some of those um, in colors and some of the core colors and some of the returning colors that I didn't have in blends before. So a big pile of new blends to play with. And then I'm going to go with the ribbons. So I've got the ribbons in all of those new in colors. This is the Moody Mauve textured ribbon. And it is beautiful. It is a soft texture. It's really nice and soft to feel. It works really easily to be able to tie bows with. And uh, it is lovely. And it comes in all of those new in colors. So I've got it in the full set. And I also have a couple, another couple of ribbons that are from one of the suites. These are the Ribbon Duo Combo back Pack. And these are from the Zoo Crew Suite. Uh, and one of them is a I think it is petal pink and then lemon lime twist and so that's a duo that goes with one of the sweets 
So there are several suites available to purchase. Let me just. There are several suites available to purchase in the pre-order. Uh, so it is quite limited compared to what's in that whole catalog. Uh, and I actually didn't get any of the suites. There's a couple of suites I do like, but they weren't part of the pre-order. So I have put off getting those um, until later. And so I didn't get the suites, but I got a couple of things from those suites. So like I said, that Zuku ribbon. And then this one here is the bright and beautiful um, designer series paper that's part of one of the suites. And it is so colorful. It has lots of those new colours in there and lots of geometric designs and lots of fun patterns. And you can see that it comes as a six by six and you have all those different colours to play with. So the colours in that are Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Bubble Bath, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight and Pretty Peacock. So lots and lots of colours. Uh, and so that's part of one of those suites. Also in the papers, I'll show you some more of the papers that we've got um, in the 6x6. Six six. Uh, so this is our uh, pattern stack. So each year there's a set of 6x6 six six papers in all of the core colours that you can um, get. This so it's all the same patterns. There's two designs, uh, two double-sided designs, and it comes in all those colours. So this one is the in-colour set, and so I'm working with the boho blue here. Uh, and then... You have to see the rest of those in colours in there. And so in those same patterns, you can get them in all of the colours by buying them in the colour collection. So this one here is the Subtles collection. And that's where you see all those colours in there, including that brand new Lemon Lolly is in there as part of that Subtles. And also the Bubble Bath is in there. As well as Lost Lagoon has come back and it's a Subtle. Uh, and there's lots of colours there. So you can see... You can play around with the different patterns and you get to have them in all those different colour combinations. So I've only got them in subtles and the in colours, but you can get them in all the different colours as well. Now when it comes to the bigger paper packs, the 12 by 12, this one here is the Zoo Crew one. So that's where the ribbon goes. Uh, and this one is all these cute creatures. Now a lot of these cut out with the matching dies, but like I said, I didn't get the, the whole suite, so I don't have the stamps and dies that go with this. But you can also fussy cut these. There's lots and lots of critters on all those different patterns to play with. And on the other side are some black and white patterns to go along with those. So you can use those just as they are, or you can colour them. Uh, some of the, the images that don't have as much colour, you can colour those with your markers or your blends and make them suit your projects how you want. So that is the Zoo Crew. And then I have the next one. In here is this one's called Country Inn, I believe. Countryside Inn. And so it's here in a couple of shades of blues. And you have all of these different patterns with some cute creatures on. You've got a bunny there and you've got a fox uh, and all those kind of country style images. And then on the other side, you've got those geometric patterns in those same color range. So that's balmy blue, boho blue. Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy. So four different blues all working together with a bit of white in there as well. Then I have this one here, which is called Fresh as a Daisy. Uh, and it's lots of daisy images. And so I love this sheet here, which has these different blocks on that you can use in different projects. And then we have other daisy images. So we've got daisies in, in different color schemes. Lots of bold daisies. Whereas this one here is my favourite, I think. In the greens. And then on the flip side of all of those, you've got that kind of watercolour wash uh, range, uh, or like a painted watercoloured range of colours of patterns to go with those as well, which is just beautiful. And then the one more uh, paper edition I wanted to show you is this one here, which I haven't got out of its packet yet. Oh, it's going to be all reflective for me. This is um, it's called the Gold Celebrations Specialty Designer Series Paper. And it's acetate with gold printing on. So there's three sheets with three different designs. Let me try and separate them so that you can see them. Uh, without reflection, oh, it's a bit tricky. Uh, maybe if I put something underneath, you'll be able to see a little bit better. There we go. So they're all, these go with the kind of birthday patterns. So that was part of the same suite as this one here. 
uh, and you've got the kind of celebrations images uh, and you've got some dots and then you have this one here oh, I've gone the other side this is gold on this side so um, you have that kind of confetti pack pattern there as well. So I just put those back somewhere they're safe. And the last thing, <laughs> the most important thing, is the stamps and dies and punches. So those bundles. So we've got a couple of different things here. And like I said, I didn't get the whole suite. This one here has a stamp set that goes with it as well. Uh, wasn't really my taste and I don't think I'll use it very much. So I've just gone for the dies. But the stamp that goes inside has this kind of border multiple times so you could cut out um, that the stamp that border and cut out whereas I've just gone for the shapes because we're losing a couple of, couple of our layering uh, shapes in the dies we're losing the layering circles and the um, diorama and even our stitch rectangles are going so it was nice to have another set of layering dies that are going to work really nicely then I have this stamp set here which is a stamp set on its own it's called stamped with love uh, and I really like the uh, image of the post office and the, the letter there. Uh, but I also I like these things. And this is a great one. This is what's called an angel policy a stamp set because it has copyright stamping up on there. Because anybody who sells projects made with stamping up images needs to acknowledge that stamping up has copyright in the images. And so you need that stamp on the back if you're going to be selling them. If you're making them for yourself, giving them away, not a problem. But if you're selling them, then they like you to use um, that angel policy and that's detailed in the catalogue but you can use it for so many more things uh, that's what I love about it this one here is a great great one for crafting people and who of us isn't a crafting person um, but maybe you've got some different crafts and things that um, that aren't necessarily stamping and paper related that you can use this particular stamp set to show um, your interest in but in addition to that we've got our stamp and cutting wash machine and dies and things that match our products so there's a set of dies that go with that and there's the stamp set as well. I think it's lots of fun to be had with all of those for all of your crafting friends. Then I have another bundle which is, has a fun thing. So the layering circles dies are currently um, retiring. So we're not going to have all those lots and lots of layers in circle dies. But one thing that people have been asking about for so long is to have a... Uh, circle punch back and so we have some some circle punches in our online exclusives and now we have a circle punch in our catalog so this is a size that we haven't had before it's two and three eighths of an inch so it's about six centimeters wide so it's a nice big circle and bigger than we worked with before and it has a stamp set that works with that circle so you can have some fun with doing some pop-out elements with the circle punch so it's one of the things I was excited to get excuse me <coughs> And the comments have just popped up. Hi, Judith. You're watching from Adelaide. Well, thank you for coming back and joining me twice in one day. I appreciate it. And so this one here now is my favourite bundle that was available in the pre-order. And I think one of my favourites in the whole catalogue. I'll try and put it where it doesn't put odd reflections. Um, so you can see here that this is a monkey builder punch. So it has the different elements of the monkey, including his banana. Uh, to build him up and then you also have this stamp set that will be great for coloring and great for lots of occasions because you can use monkeys for anyone little monkey so you can use it for the little kids and the babies and that's great but you can give a little monkey card to anybody of any age uh, and it's just a bit of fun so I really like this one and I'm going to have fun playing with the punch as well and I do love a bundle that is a punch bundle because uh, not everyone has a die cutting machine so it's fun to have that different element to play with. So I think that, well, let me just look around my desk. I think that pretty much covers me with all the things that I got in my pre-order. So I'm going to come back to bring the camera back to me. So thank you very much for joining me. I couldn't wait to not show you all these things that I have to play with over this Easter weekend. So um, I'm looking forward to playing and sharing with you what I do make. Uh, I'm not sure when that's going to be. I'm starting to feel better, but I'm not completely better yet. So I managed to have COVID and then pick up a post-COVID virus, like a cold type thing right on the, the cusp of that. So I went, ended up back with all those symptoms again and that's cleared again, but I'm exhausted. So I'm going to have a few down days, but I, I might get a chance to have a play and just do something for myself in that time. But I also plan to work with all of those new colours and have a video to show you that shows you those colours in combination with all the new families 
some color combination ideas and some projects made with those colors. So that's coming up shortly. So thanks very much for coming back to join me today and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you.